Hi, welcome to my studio. Today, I'm going to use craft paints and marbles to make this. Are you ready? Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. Today, I thought I would try something. I have been inspired by an artist. I first saw him on Instagram, and then I found his YouTube channel. His name, I'm gonna get this right, I'm looking at it, is B.R. Turner Art. And he does some pretty vibrant pieces with acrylic paint pouring, and he has some pretty original techniques. So I wanted to try one, and I have an 18 by 24 canvas here, and I pre-mixed my paints, and I'll show you what colors I'm gonna use. I have a Craft Smart paint that is neon green, and I'm not using any silicone. And then Craft Smart Bright Pink. And I pre mixed them with my pouring mix. And then Violet Craft Smart. And these colors are just super pretty. And they mix pretty well. Okay, Craft Smart Bright Yellow. And then Craft Smart Bright Blue. So I went ahead and pre mixed them so you didn't have to sit there and watch me mix because I know that can be a little not fun sometimes. So let me set these aside for a moment. And I wanted to do a larger canvas because I'm gonna pour the paint on here. I'm gonna do a puddle pour, so I'm gonna have little puddles everywhere. And then I have a steel ball, and I'm gonna put the ball in. We're gonna let the ball go and see what happens. So I'm gonna start by making sure my edges are covered. Because one of the things I forget about, I've been doing this for a few years now, and I always forget about the edges and corners because I get so excited about the design. So I'm going to go ahead, get some down. I'm just going to use my hand, make sure the canvas is covered. And I hope you guys have had a great day. I'm in Tucson, Arizona, and the weather's getting warm. I hear we've seen the last of our cool weather for a while, which is a a little disappointing for me. I was enjoying the cool weather and bike riding with my husband. And <clears throat> it can get pretty warm here in the summers. 110, 112. We're just, just south of Phoenix, so we're not as hot as Phoenix, thankfully. But it still gets pretty warm and it is a dry heat. I was born and raised in Tucson, so it's nothing new to me, but I do enjoy the cooler weather when we do have it. Got to take advantage of it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some white. Whoops. Hmm. I pre-mixed this white. It's also a Craft Smart white, but I um, pre-mix them into these larger containers with the white and black because those are the colors I use often and I tend to need them on hand for last minute stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead with my hand. I don't need a paintbrush or anything, just a hand. Got my gloves on. This is non-toxic paint. I choose to wear gloves. It's easier to clean up. And I can reuse the gloves, just go soap and water, give a quick wash, dry them off, and I can reuse them until I can't reuse them. 
And I think that's important right now. We need to reuse as much as we can. Okay, get my napkin. Just wipe it off. And it's not covered 100%. It's a little thick and thin in places, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to take some black. Let me give it a mix. And I'm going to pour some puddles. Set that aside. I'm going to start with my pink. I'm just going to scoop it with my stir stick. And for this one, I'm just going to go ahead, try to make all the puddles the same. You can vary them if you like. But this is my very first time doing this technique, so I'm going to try to stay consistent just so I can see how it's going to turn out. And this canvas is warped. It's not flat. So that's why this is coming this way. Whoops. And this is balanced. And I'm okay with that. This is an experiment and a practice. Okay. And now, let's see. Let's do some purple. And with the BR Turner uh, videos he's been posting on Instagram. Oh, beautiful, vibrant colors, unique ways to pour the paint on. He's definitely an inspiration. So that's why this is inspired by him. So I'm going to see how we do. If you guys have done a puddle pour before, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you like the puddle pours. And that's pretty much what these are. You pour puddles of paint. I've done a few of them when I first started. And then I got away from it for some reason. Probably because I started doing resin. And then I started just doing my basic flip cups for my classes I teach. So this is a very fun technique with this puddle pour because you can make some interesting effects. And at the end, when the pieces are done, you, people go, well, how'd you do that? Because sometimes you can't tell. I have a space here, so I think I'm going to make another puddle. I'm going to make another puddle here. 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 And I tried leveling this before, so I'm going to try again. I'm just going to set these on here. See if that'll help. Now I use those colors with these puddles. Here, I'll just go ahead and pour. See how it's level now, it's starting to go this way, but it's not that way. <laughs> yeah, this is not a very expensive canvas. And some of these special buy canvas packs, you can tell they're mass produced quickly. But this is not a commission. This is not for a specific reason. So this is gonna be just fine. Now, I'm gonna get some white. I used all that white, let me try this white. <laughs> Squishing it. <laughs> Pour it here. I did not add silicone to any of this. I'm going to go ahead. And like I said, this is just a fun experiment. And 
and it's a larger canvas so it's going to be real interesting i wanted to do a larger canvas since i'm rolling this ball I wasn't too sure how well it was going to roll on a small canvas I'm not even too sure how it's going to roll on this large canvas but i thought a more surface area would be more in my favor And actually, look at that. <laughs> I put purple first on that last one. You know? Pink. I'm sorry. Yellow. And I'm just adding, I want to make sure there's enough paint for this ball to roll. So that's why I added more circles. Because, you know, you see people do videos, you're like, hey, I can do that. And then you get to doing it, and you're like, what in the world? What did I do? Here, make this long. And then we're going to put purple on the top of this one. What do you think of these colors? Let me know in the comments. I chose these colors because I wanted bright vibrant colors and I wanted an odd amount of the colored so that way I can use the black and white as needed so I chose five colors that I thought would be bold and bright okay let's try it let me get these just set aside a little bit so I don't have paint flying everywhere <laughs> And here's the ball. I'm going to start it on this side. I'm going to start, woo, start rolling. Hmm. Oh, there was one of my sticks. There it goes. It's Gaining some traction. Okay, that's a seven eighths thick ball, and I got a set, so it comes with a very variety of balls. Let me try the smaller five eighths, and you can see seven eighths compared to five eighths. Let's try the small one. See what it does. And maybe for this, smaller canvases are better. But look at, starting to look awesome, huh? <laughs> That's doing really well. Here's the one inch. Let's add that in. Do you guys play pinball at all? I love pinball. My dad used to love pinball and got me involved in it. This reminds me of pinball, the multi-ball. So here, let's add four. <laughs> yeah, this is where it's lifted in my canvas. I'm going to pull this one off and put it in the napkin. Let me see if I can get these ones just to mix these down here. Woof. It's pulling up all that black. So I'm down to the five eighths again. Just want to give it another whirl. But you can see the designs it's making. It's helping the colors m move without mixing them. So, all the balls are off. Let's tilt it out. Let's go this way. And now I'm gonna go this way a little bit.
Just wanted to get that white in the corner. There it goes. Now, <coughs> excuse me, my allergies. We have some Palo Verde trees, which are beautiful trees with gold flowers blooming, and I'm highly allergic to them. And when the wind blows, it looks like yellow snow, literally. So sometimes I get a little tickle back in my throat. What do you guys think so far? Is this cool or what? Got to get the rolling technique down and maybe a smaller canvas is what I need to do. Maybe this is too large of a canvas. Just going to get the white covered over here. Make sure it's still in camera frame. Let's go down here. And now, look at that purple. Love it. Reminds me of a comic book. Comic book geode. <laughs> There's still quite a bit of paint on here, so I'm just working it. That's the one thing I tend to do is use too much paint. So in case you didn't know while I'm finishing this, I have a community on Facebook. If you look up the Desert Hippie Arts Community Group, I would love for you to join it. Uh, post your art, your videos. I would love to see what you're doing. Get some inspiration. for new techniques, new videos. And it's the Desert Hippie Arts Community Group. The only thing I do ask is that you don't uh, try to sell things. Don't try to promote other groups. You know, we're there to learn. We're gonna have some beginners, advanced, resin art, acrylic paint pouring. I would like for it just to be an open, fun group where we can kind of collaborate and have fun. And I plan to do um, some Facebook Lives in that group. I've done a few already and they've been pretty fun. Okay, I did shrink that, but I'm loving this. What do you guys think, this blue purple? And look at, this is opening up. Definitely let me know what you think of this technique. If you can put it in the comments below. If you have any suggestions, let me know. No, I, won't, I don't mind trying other things. I actually think this is really awesome. Shrunk that, but look at, I have paint in my hand. <laughs> and if you've tried this technique, Send me the link to your video so I can watch it. And let me see what colors you tried. You know, one of the hardest things is to know when to stop. Keep seeing it growing and growing. And then you're like, whoa, how awesome is that? I had a paint class last night several new people 
They just picked up the art so quick. One of them was so hesitant. They did a great job. And it's fun to see people when they create something. They're not, they think they're not artistic, but then they create it and they're like, whoa, I just made that. See that little light in their eye. Okay, I need to stop. Let me just stretch this out a little bit. I think my cups fell over. <laughs> my paint props. All right, let me know what you think of this piece. I appreciate you guys being here and watching with me. Definitely comment, let me know what you think. Let me know if you've done this. Send me a link to your videos, pictures. I would love to see what you guys are doing. So have a great day. Please be sure you do subscribe to my channel. It does help me and I will talk to you soon. Bye.